Hello, comrades. Today, we are going to be doing a video on redstone logic gates, another important part of redstone. But before we get into all that stuff, firstly I'd like to talk to you about something. This is supposed to be a Soviet YouTube channel. However, it has come to my attention that I'm not making that many communism jokes during my videos. In fact, the only one which I've really made any jokes in at all so far is my first one. So from now on, I would like to try and make three communism jokes per episode. So, with all that out of the way, let's talk about logic gates. Logic gates are incredibly useful in resin contraptions. It's quite difficult to find a complex one which doesn't use them, or even a fairly simple one which doesn't use any logic gates. For example, anything that uses a redstone torch technically uses a knot gate. Today I'm going to be showing you four logic gates, AND gates, OR gates, NOT gates, and exclusive OR gates, or XOR gates. The first type of logic gate I'm going to be showing you is an AND gate. It takes two inputs, and if they're both true then it gives an output, and if only one of them is true or neither of them are true, then it doesn't give an output. For example, if someone hasn't read the Communist Manifesto and owns a house, then they are a capitalist. If they have read the Communist Manifesto but own a house, then most likely they aren't a capitalist. Or if they haven't read the Communist Manifesto but don't own a house, then they're probably also not a capitalist. This type of logic gate can be made in two basic ways. Here we have one which is fairly low on resources. It simply uses three redstone torches, so that if both of these two are off, then that one's on. Here we have another version, where this has to be powered in order to push this block across, so that this piece of redstone just can hard power that, soft power even, that block, powering the repeater and the lamp. Here we have probably the simplest redstone logic gate and OR gate. It simply uses this uh, redstone here, the junction between these three, so that if either of these levers are turned on, or both of them, then it will power the redstone lamp. Another very simple redstone logic gate is the NOT gate. It simply uses a redstone torch, so that if this is powered, then the redstone lamp turns off, and if it's not powered, it turns on. So, if someone doesn't like capitalism, then the brilliant light of communism t comes up. But if they do, then unfortunately not. The most complicated logic gate you're going to see today is this, the XOR gate, or exclusive OR gate. So that if one of these is turned on, then the lamp will turn on. If both of them are turned on, then it turns off. And if neither of them are turned on, then it turns off. This is more complicated than it sounds, and it effectively uses a mishmash of the other logic gates. Here we have an AND gate, an OR gate from these repeaters, and a NAND gate, or a NOT AND gate, it's a variation of that, to complete the final part of this logic gate. But how would you use these? Probably the easiest way to show this is through piston doors. I set up a very basic piston redstone piston door, and already you can see that here we have an OR gate. That's redstone gate number one. So if you're standing on this pressure plate, or this one, the redstone door will activate. But if you wanted to introduce a lock, perhaps to keep out those greedy capitalists, you can now see that this has to be turned off, and I have to be standing on the pressure plate for it to open. This is a good example of an AND gate. Or if, for some reason, you wanted to make it that the door closes when you try to go through it, you can see that this will be a NOT gate. Now, I'm not going to do one for an exclusive OR gate, because I can't really think of a good reason that you'd want to use this in a piston door. It's sort of like the capitalist economic system, really. So, 
and just how to make and use four different types of redstone logic gate. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like and see you in the next one.